Okay, guys, we're here. And you see him shaking. I brought his blanket in. He knows where he's at. He's looking around. Mister's walking around. It's like, oh no, I'm at the doctor's. See, he hears every little sound. Well, I guess he hears every sound. I think he's kind of going deaf as well. But he sure is looking around, shaking like a leaf. Okay, they came and got Sammy, taking him in the back. Yep, so there he goes. They won't let us back there. So you, we can't go back there at all? Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, there's Mister. Which thank Mister? I think they got the hands full. Yeah. Well, it's a lady with her cat oh, had a distemp not distemper, but rabies shot. Hey guys, what's up, y'all? This is Sheila here in my double wide in the hills of Virginia. And we live in little itty bitty city. Some of you know a little about the dynamics here uh, in our home and with our critters. With Possum, see she's 23 now, uh, November. And <clears> then <throat> Sammy, we're not really sure because my daughter gave me Sammy and I don't really know how old he was. I had the vet uh, look at his teeth and stuff, so of course, you know, he's he definitely over 10 years old. I want to say he's about, I don't know, 11, 12 years old maybe. It could be more, give or take. Anyhow, um, I put on Instagram the other day when we were at the vet's office and, um, you know, just the picture of the uh, vet's office. and. That was on Wednesday. Now what's been going on with Sammy is that, you know, he's been making this god awful smell. And usually when that happens and quite frequently, it's normally the dog's anal glands and you and it, you can express them yourself if you know how. So I try to, but when I, I noticed that one side was, um, a little bit bigger, uh, the nodule, the anal gland. Uh, and I'm not trying to gross you out, but that's what it is. And so I thought what was going on was that it was impacted, okay? So I took it to a vet. L let me back up even more than that. About two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Yeah. Um, to a vet that's... Uh, medium sized city and um, they you know to have his anal gland expressed and then um, the doctor was busy and they came and said they weren't able to express his anal glands that they don't think it's an anal gland issue back there this is like some of the helpers that are there that do that kind of thing so uh, they said that um, the doctor was busy that I'd have to bring him back. Well, I took him back and like, I don't know, I can't remember the date, but early that morning, they kept him all day. I didn't hear anything, so I called about um, 20 till 5, something like that, because they were open till 5 o'clock, and since I hadn't heard anything, I called and I said, hey, uh, this is so-and-so, you know, calling about Sammy. I mean, the doctor hasn't called me. I kind of like to know what's going on. And so they said, well, the doctor was kind of busy at that moment. No, excuse me, was on the phone. And I said, well, I'm, you know, y'all close at five and it's about 22. Do we not need to be driving there? I mean, I wasn't planning on Sammy saying all night. We took him in early this morning for her to examine him and blah, blah, blah. Well, we went to pick him up. I think it was the next day I had to call back and to find out. Well, finally I got to talk to uh, that doctor and uh, let me back up. I'm missing a vital important thing here. Um, 
before they let him go, uh, she did want to take a biopsy and of it and send it off. Said it would be about a week. Okay, now. So he brought Sammy home and um, a, a week had passed by and a few days. So seven was probably like nine, ten days. I call back and I go, hey, you know, what's the deal with the biopsy? Well, they said that. Now, it was $169 for the biopsy, okay? And they stick a needle in there, you know, pull out some stuff and, and send it on and have it analyzed. Well, they said, well, they couldn't tell one way or the, another. I guess they just didn't get enough to put on the smear thing. So $169 for, to tell me, well, we don't know. So, I said, well, um, so they want me to bring him back and bring him back and have, this time, the bops, they have a chunk taken out, okay? Not just the, with the needle pull out, but go in there and cut some out. I go, if you're going to go in there and cut a little bit out to send it to have a box, you know, well, when you're in there, won't you just get it out? I mean, hello? I mean, am I, am, am I missing something here? Well, I'm going to cut all that out. It's, so I said, you have the doctor call me. I said, because I need, it was already $169, and let's go on to get that thing taken out. You can tell me how much it is. Do you know, to this day, I have not heard from them at all? Well, I was getting upset, and I told Mr. I said, Mr., let's take him someplace else. Well, we did. And, um... Oh my gosh, the veterinarian was just absolutely wonderful. And, you know, they went back there, they took an x-ray of it, and, and then they also took an x-ray of his heart because Sammy has a heart murmur. And he's doing that dry coffee hacky stuff, she said, because um, fluid is gathering around his, you know, his heart, so his valves are not able, to, or they're not working properly. So she wanted to put him on some heart medication that will help him, she said, because if you don't, it could lead into uh, congestive heart failure. <sighs> now, mind you, on top of that, he's got Cushing's. So, uh, she said that, uh, I mean, she told me the whole nine yards. I mean, very upfront, very uh, thorough. So they took a picture of his heart to see if this like if they what she thought maybe it was would be with his anal gland let's go and uh see if it what's it called mastitis mass mastitis well, anyway it goes someplace else in your body so anyway they um took a picture of his heart and took a picture and she comes back and she says it's not in pack she says there is a growth okay and she said what we'd like to do is take a bopsy here we go again but you know what she says that was Wednesday, and she says, by Friday we should have it. I mean, here I was 10 days, and I had to call. In this place, uh, they took it on Wednesday. They got it back on Friday, and the doctor called me. I mean, I just thanked her. I just, I mean, even when I was there at the veterinarian office, I went around and I hugged her neck. Of course, I was in tears. I've been a nervous wreck, y'all, my friends. And I wanted to share this with you because... There's a lot been going on, and no, I haven't been on. It seems like there's always something going on around this joint, but um, I've really been depressed. I, I, I can say that. And not only that, possum is peeing like every few 10 minutes. So I thought she had a UTI, so I got some UTI medicine and given that to her. Well, she still kind of you know, drink a lot of water and go into the kitty box. So I, um, I'm concerned about that as well. So I put her on some, uh, medicine. It's, a uh, stone breaker medicine. It goes in and it dissolves the stones. So if she has kidney stones and that's what's going on. So I'm dealing with possum and then I'm dealing with Sammy. And so then, um, you know, I've been looking at everything uh, to give him. I t when I talked to the doctor, I said, "Hey, doc." When she called me, I said, "What's you know, what's the deal? I can have Sammy. She can't do it." She said, "I can't do the surgery because the surgery is so entailed because of the nerves, the muscles, and everything." 
that they uh, is very delicate because if you hit, I mean, if they hit a, a certain nerve or something, I mean, he might not be able to walk. Uh, it, it just, it's just very complicated. So they want to send them off to, or me, not send them off, for me to take them to this place is about an hour or so away. And I said, well, can you, you know, maybe give me, I mean, you know, when you, you there, the, our animals are our family. It, it's like a child to me. Um, so, I said, you know, with this, I mean, you know, it's like, I told the doctor, I said, it's like, you love your animal, but, you know, you got to look at your pocketbook, too. I said, can you tell me? I said, we're not rich people. Uh, we're, you know, we're seniors. We lived on a fixed budget. I said, can you just maybe, I said, I know you don't know to the penny or maybe a ballpark figure, maybe what we're looking at, because I'm thinking, okay, let, let's just see, you know, because, uh... Uh, uh, Sammy can't help it. He's at our mercy. So she told me about six or seven thousand dollars. I said, well, Doc Ben answered it for us. So I wanted to share this with you to let you know. Y'all pray for little Sammy and why I haven't been maybe uh, getting back with the comments and stuff. Uh, it's just, I've just had a lot on my plate. But I wanted to share it with you because you guys are my family. And kind of let you know kind of what's going on up here in the hills of Virginia with my critters. So, that's that. And um, she said, you know, just make him as comfortable. Oh, he's also on an um, antibiotic. I, I forgot why she said. It's 300 milligrams I have to give twice a day. And he has to until... You know, Sammy's gone to, to Jesus. He has to take his heart medicine twice a day. So I give it to him about 7.30 in the morning, and I give it to him 7.30 at night. And I have to get little viney weenies. I mean, he's smart. And I get a stick of straw down in the middle of it, push a hole through, then I get that, it's a capsule, it's a big old capsule too, for his uh, antibiotics. So I push it down there in the middle, and then I give it to him, he just chops it right up. He don't even know that pill's in there. And then I have to get another little weenie and I have to stick his heart medicine in there. So I've been doing that. Uh, I've been reading up a lot on it um, and praying. Let me tell you, I have been praying. And I wake up in the middle of the night. You know when you got something kind of on you and uh, you just can't sleep? Well, that's the way I've been. And uh, I wake up in the middle of the night and you know, I'm thinking about Sammy. And then with a cushion, I said, poor little fella, you know, it's, it's pitiful. But she said that, you know, he still, she says, just, just let him live, you know, comfortable. Uh, in, in other words, you know, just let him live. Let him, let him be, be Sammy as long as Sammy can be Sammy. And I told her, I said, I'm not going to have suffer sometimes you see people that you know, suffer because they're selfish i said and i'm not going to do that i want i don't want sammy i want sammy i want him to live and and have the most quality of life he can till we know and that's why i need y'all to pray for me and pray for sammy but anyway so that's what's going on. I just kind of want to give you a heads up. Um, Mister's outside. He's heck. If I know what he's doing. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing the rest of the day. I've been working on my quilt. I don't know what he did with it, and I'm just not real pleased with it. The colors and everything. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It being my second quilt, it's going to be one ugly quilt. So, let me show you some of his where he put it right over here. Let me reach over here. Because I took the other that y'all saw that I had sewed together. I took it apart. And, uh, I just, uh, anyway, that's kind of like one of the blocks there. 
It was supposed to be 12 colors. All I had was 8 colors. Here's another one. I mean, they're all different kind of colors. You see that? They're pinwheels. Then you do bigger pinwheels like this. See that? But when I do that and I put this with it, you see that? I ain't pleased with it. I don't know. Maybe if I can put a, um, what's it called? Like a border around it. I don't know. So I'm going to be in here trying to work this out. and I don't know what I'm going to do. But, you know, sometimes I told Mr. I said, I got to finish. I started it. And if even if it turns out ugly, I don't know if I'm going to get it quilted on the long arm. But I'm going to put it together. Or if I can think of some other quilt design, maybe I can do. I don't know. So y'all oh, pray for me about that too, about my quilting. But I'm going to get off of here. I think Mr. and I are going to go live this evening. I need to put that up on the community thing. I'll do that right as soon as I get off of here. But uh, this one's, you know, I just kind of want to let you know I haven't answered comments. I've just been, it's been tough. Been really, really tough. But anyway, okay. Well, let me get off here. Remember that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. And you're blessed in the city, you're blessed in the fields, you're blessed when you come, and you're blessed when you go in Jesus' name. And I'll see you on the on the live chat shenanigans with Mr. and I. Bye y'all. <laughs>